our mission goals. The primary objective of Chandrayaan-3 mission is the demonstration of safe and soft landing on the lunar surface. This demonstration is a critical aspect for ISRO's future interplanetary missions. In addition to this, the mission objectives also include demonstration of roving capability and conduction of in-situ scientific experiments on Moon's surface. Carried on the shoulders of India's heaviest rocket LVM-3 on the 14th of July, Chandrayaan-3 was placed in the precise elliptic parking orbit of size 170 by 36,500 kilometers. ISRO, in its mission plan of following the incremental trajectory approach, carried a total of five earthbound maneuvers. The fifth apogee raising maneuver, which took place on the 25th of July, placed the spacecraft in an orbit of 27,000 kilometers. At the early hours of 1st August, the translunar injection was carried out, after which the composite module began the final leg of its long journey of nearly 3,84,000 kilometers for its rendezvous with the Moon. The TLI was a key step in the mission, enabling the spacecraft to escape Earth's gravitational pull and travel to the Moon. An orbit of 288 by 369,328 kilometers was achieved at the end of the translunar injection. Jiha, translunar injection kisi bhi interplanetary mission ke liye bahut hi aavashyak parant kathin operation hota hai. Is safal maneuver ke baad Chandrayaan 3 prithvi se dur nikal kar Chandrama ke prabhav chhetra mein ek hyperbolic trajectory ke dwara pahunchaya gaya. पुनः 5 अगस्त 2023 को लूनर आर्बिट इंसर्शन के द्वारा चंद्रयान 3 को 160 किलोमीटर के पेरीलून और 18,000 किलोमीटर के अपोलून के साथ चंद्रमा के इलिप्टिकल आर्बिट में स्थापित कर दिया गया। TLI के तरह LOI भी एक बहुत जटिल ऑपरेशन होता है। इसमें हमें यह ध्यान देना आवश्यक होता है कि उपग्रह के बेगमान को एक अन्यथा उपग्रह चंद्रमा के प्रभाव क्षेत्र से बाहर निकल जाएगा। LOI के सफलतापूर्वक परिचालन के बाद चंद्रयान 3 की कक्षा को चार बार और परिवर्तित किया गया। इस दौरान चंद्रमा के अधिकतम ऊंचाई को घटाकर 160 किलोमीटर कर दिया गया। इस पूरी प्रक्रिया में प्रपल्सन मॉड्यूल का लगभग 755 किलोग्राम ईंधन सत्रह अगस्त 2023 को प्रपल्सन मॉड्यूल से अलग कर दिया गया। पुनः लैंडर मॉडल के आर्बिट को दो डुइबुस्ट मैनिवर्स के द्वारा 150 किलोमीटर के सर्कुलर आर्बिट से घटाकर 25 गुड़े 130 किलोमीटर के एलिप्टिकल आर्बिट में स्थापित कर दिया गया। इस दौरान यह भी सुनिश्चित कर दिया गया कि 800 न्यूटन के लैंडर मॉड्यूल इस आर्बिट में चार दिन तक चंद्रमा की परिक्रमा करता रहा, ताकि इसके सभी सब सिस्टम को पावर डिसेंट से पहले कार्यात्मक रूप से वेरीफाई और वैलिडेट किया जा सके। इस दौरान चंद्रयान दो और लैंडर मॉड्यूल की आपस में बातचीत भी हो चुकी है, और संक्षेप में अब तक की यात्रा की बात करें, और इस पूरी यात्रा में लगभग 55 लाख किलोमीटर की यात्रा भी पूरी कर चुका है। अब तक के इस पूरे अभियान में यह भी सुनिश्चित किया गया कि सारे आर्बिट मैनुअल्स इस प्रकार किए जाएं कि लैंडिंग साइट पावर डिसेंट के शुरुआत से ही लैंडर के आर्बिटल प्लेन में बना रहे। wherein the orbit plane contains the desired landing site at the start of powered descent. We are also happy to announce that live images from the Chandrayaan-3 lander imager camera is being received continuously. The demonstration of soft landing on the moon's surface is no ordinary feat due to the innumerable challenges and complexities involved. The lander velocity has to be killed 
from nearly 6,048 kilometers per hour without any aid from the thin and tenuous moon's atmosphere. The lunar dust at the time of landing and the craters and boulders scattered over the moon's surface make it further complicated to achieve this. The new and improved Chandrayaan-3 design has been built after envisaging all the scenarios which the lander module can encounter. With several software improvements, provision for full level redundancies, a plethora of special tests, namely the integrated hot test, integrated cold test and lander leg drop tests were carried out for the lander module. The success of these tests has provided great confidence in the performance of all the onboard sensors, propulsion system and associated guidance, control and navigation algorithms. The key findings during the tests have enabled to improve the overall system performance. The largely unexplored South Pole of the Moon has been chosen as the intended landing site since there is a possibility of finding ice and other minerals which would be vital resources for future explorers. Apart from continuing investigations pioneered by Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2, the Chandrayaan-3 mission will also provide invaluable data to the science community around the world. Let us give our viewers a glimpse on the configuration of Chandrayaan-3 mission. चंद्रयान थ्री का मिशन प्लान लगभग लगभग चंद्रयान दो के तरह ही बनाया गया है यहाँ यह भी सुनिश्चित किया गया है कि चंद्रयान तीन को रॉकेट से अलग होने से लेकर के चंद्रमा के निकटतम कक्षा में स्थापित होने तक सारी गतिविधियाँ चंद्रयान दो के तरह ही हों और अब हम यह कह सकते हैं कि यह प्लान पूरी तरह से शत प्रतिशत सफल रहा हालाँकि लैंडर मॉड्यूल के सेंसर्स और प्रपल्सन सिस्टम को इस तरह से मजबूत किया गया है कि लैंडर पावर डिसेंट के समय किसी भी आपदा से बाहर आकर के मिशन के मुख्य उद्देश्य को पूरा कर सके इस क्रम में लैंडर के मुख्य सेंसर्स कारा लासा एल एच और एल एच का के दौरान लैंडर के सटीक पोजीशन और वेलोसिटी का ज्ञान होना बहुत ही आवश्यक है लिराप यानी लेजर इनर्शियल रिफरेंसिंग एंड एक्सिलोरोमीटर पैकेज इस कार्य को पावर डिसेंट के दौरान बखूबी निभाएगा ट्रेजेक्ट्री जनरेशन जो कि चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन के लिए बहुत ही अहम है क्योंकि हर आर्बिट मैन्यूअर के बाद यह सुनिश्चित किया जाता है कि लैंडर की मिशन ऑब्जेक्टिव को ना बदले इस क्रम में मैं यह भी आपको बता दूं कि ऑर्बिट डिटर्मिनेशन जो कि उपग्रह के पोजीशन और बिलोसिटी को बहुत ही एक बताता है एक बहुत ही कठिन और जटिल कंपटीशन और एस्टिमेशन होता है यहाँ यह भी जानना महत्वपूर्ण है कि चंद्रयान दो का ओ एच आर सी पेलोड अब तक काफी ऊंचे स्तर का डैम प्रदान किया है जिसके फलस्वरूप लैंडिंग साइट की सीमा को बढ़ाकर चार गुड़े दो दशमलव चार किलोमीटर कर दिया गया है जो कि पावर डिसेंट के दौरान सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग कराने में काफी सहायक सिद्ध होगा अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सेंसर्स चंद्रयान थ्री इज इक्विप्ड विद अ स्वीट ऑफ सोफेस्टिकेटेड पेलोड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स वाइल चंद्रयान वन एंड चंद्रयान टू ऑर्बिटर हैव प्रोवाइडेड एबंडेंट रिमोट सेंसिंग डेटा ऑफ मून इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट are the on-site localized measurements that provide ground truths. Lander and rover have payloads which are completely new and will perform in situ analysis of lunar surface. The two spectroscopes on rover, APXS and LIBS, will actively measure the surface elemental abundances at the landing location and surrounding area. The lander carries a seismometer ILSA that can sense impact events and lunar quakes. The thermal probe chart will measure the temperature profile and thermal conductivity of moon's regolith. 
The Rambha payload will carry out lunar ionosphere studies while the laser retro reflector array shall be a passive location indicator for future spacecraft equipped with laser altimeter. The propulsion module has not been left behind and an experimental shape payload has been added to it as a value addition. It will help in understanding the nature and characteristics of water-rich planets and will also aid in the future study of potentially habitable exoplanets. We are minutes away from the start of powered descent. The entire powered descent shall be carried out by the onboard autonomous landing sequencer or ALS which is a series of instructions preloaded to the lander module. These instructions include the commands to be executed, data to be collected and analyzed and decisions to be made and executed autonomously throughout the powered descent. जी हाँ अब हम पावर डिसेंट के बहुत ही करीब आ चुके हैं हम आपको बताते चलें कि पावर डिसेंट को कुल चार चरणों में बांटा गया है सबसे पहले आता है रफ ब्रेकिंग फेज जिसमें लैंडर की ऊंचाई को चंद्रमा की सतह से 30 किलोमीटर से घटाकर 7.4 किलोमीटर कर दिया जाएगा इस पूरी प्रक्रिया को पूरा करने में लगभग साढ़े मिनट लगे एक मीटर प्रति सेकेंड से घटाकर We have continuous flow of lander telemetry data from ISRO's deep space network IDSN32 located in Belalu, Bengaluru. The data is being acquired real time by station and is flown to the mission operation complex through our communication links. In addition to it, we also have support from ESA and JPL DSN stations. There will be no ground intervention once the ALS takes charge. The preparation for today's event had started 48 hours before, wherein various pre-selections and uplinking of parameters for the autonomous landing sequence were carried out. The whole descent is divided into four phases. The rough braking phase, the attitude hold phase, fine braking phase and the local navigation phase or the terminal descent phase. जी हाँ एटीट्यूड होल्ड फेज जो कि पावर डिसेंट का दूसरा चरण है एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण फेज है इस 10 सेकेंड के स्मॉल ड्यूरेशन के दौरान लैंडर के दो महत्वपूर्ण सेंसर कारा और लासा लैंडर की ऊंचाई की गणना करेंगे इस फेज के पूरा होते ही लैंडर चंद्रमा के सतह से कुल 6.8 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर होगा During the rough braking phase, the lander velocity shall be brought down from 1,680 meters per second to 358 meters per second. The altitude will be brought down from 30 kilometers to 7.4 kilometers at the end of rough braking. Currently, we can see the scientists are analyzing the lander data. जी हाँ हम ये देख सकते हैं कि मिशन ऑपरेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स रूप में बैठे सभी वैज्ञानिक ये जो भी डेटा देख रहे हैं वो डीप स्पेस नेटवर्क आईडीएसएन 32 32 के द्वारा प्रोवाइड किया जा रहा है और अगर हम अब बात करें पावर डिसेंट के तीसरे चरण का जो कि फाइन ब्रेकिंग फेज होगा जिसमें लैंडर लैंडिंग साइट से जस्ट 800 मीटर की ऊंचाई पर वर्टिकली होगा इस चरण को पूरा होने में लगभग तीन मिनट लगेंगे और इस चरण के पूरा होते ही लैंडर की बिलोसिटी लगभग लगभग शून्य हो जाएगी द साइंटिस्ट एट इस ट्रैक आर ग्लूड टू देर सिस्टम एनालाइजिंग ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा We are very close to the power descent, to the start of the power descent phase. जी हाँ, अगर 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 हम अब बात करें पावर डिसेंट के चौथे और अंतिम चरण का, जो कि लोकल नेविगेशन फेज या टर्मिनल डिसेंट फेज भी कहा जाता है, 
इस दौरान लैंडर के दो इंजन बंद कर दिए जाएंगे और लैंडर के सेंसरों द्वारा इसके हाइट और वेलोसिटी की गणना इनर्शियल नेविगेशन को भेज दिया जाएगा इस दौरान लैंडर 150 मीटर की ऊंचाई को प्राप्त करने के बाद कुल 131 सेकंड लगाएगा इस पड़ाव पे आने के बाद पुनः लैंडर 22 सेकंड के लिए हवरिंग करेगा आप इस समय अपने स्क्रीन पे मिशन ऑपरेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स में बैठे सभी मान्य गणों को देख सकते हैं जो कि बहुत ही उत्सुकता के साथ टेलीमेट्री डेटा को देख रहे हैं अभी हम लोग पावर डिसेंट शुरू होने से जस्ट कुछ ही पल दूर हैं पावर डिसेंट शुरू होने में लगभग लगभग 30 सेकंड ही बचा है और हमको ये सारे डेटा मिशन ऑपरेशन कॉम्प्लेक्स रूम में आईडीएसएन 32 के द्वारा जो कि लगातार लैंडर के कनेक्शन में बना हुआ है प्रदान कर रहा है डियर व्यूअर्स द पिवटल पावर डिसेंट हैज बिगन एंड द लैंडर मॉड्यूल इज प्रोपेलिंग टुवर्ड्स द मून सरफेस along the intended trajectory ji ha ab hum ab dekh sakte hain rough breaking phase ki shuruaat ho chuki hai during this rough breaking phase the lander velocity shall be brought down from 1680 meters per second to 358 meters per second the altitude will be brought down from 30 kilometers to 7.4 kilometers at the end of rough breaking all this in the duration of 690 seconds or 11.5 minutes currently the laser inertial reference and accelerometer package lirap is aiding in the navigation जी हाँ अभी आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर अब तक कुल एक किलोमीटर हॉरिजेंटल दिशा में चल चुका है और अब त, अभी तक इसकी वेलोसिटी लगभग 31 किलोमीटर बनी हुई है द लैंडर मॉड्यूल हैज ट्रेवल्ड अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट किलोमीटर्स द कम्प्लीट डाउन रेंज दैट विल बी ट्रेवल ड्यूरिंग दिस फेज शेल बी नियरली सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स जी हाँ कुल सात सौ पैंतालीस किलोमीटर के इस रफ ब्रेकिंग फेज में आप देख सकते हैं कि हम लोग लगभग लगभग अपनी यात्रा 20 परसेंट कंप्लीट कर चुके हैं पावर डिसेंट की यह शुरुआत हम कह सकते हैं कि बहुत ही सटीक और सधी हुई है जिसमें लैंडर अपने बेगमान को अनुमानित तरीके से घटा रहा है the altitude of the lander module will reduce from 7.4 kilometers to 6.8 kilometers during the next phase which is going to be the attitude hold phase we can currently see that the altitude of the lander module is nearly 31 kilometers rcc abhi hum is ground trace ko dekhte hue kah sakte hain ki rough breaking phase ki shuruaat बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से हुई है आप ये देख सकती हैं कि जो भी प्रोजेक्टेड ग्राउंड रेस है उसी पे अपना लैंडर मॉड्यूल आगे चलते हुए बढ़ रहा है अभी तक ये देखा जा सकता है कि लैंडर मॉड्यूल लगभग लगभग 370 किलोमीटर 36 दिशा में चल चुका है 
the mission operations team is analyzing the data we can all see the seriousness and the concentration with which each and every parameter of the lander module is being analyzed the performance see the performance so far seems to be nominal ji arusi kyunki als activate kiya ja chuka hai isliye ground se koi commanding nahi ki ja rahi hai is dauran aapke screen pe sare data isro ke deep space network से रियल टाइम में आ रहे हैं इस मिशन में सेकेंड और थर्ड आर्डर गाइडेंस पाली नमियल का प्रयोग हुआ है जो कि इनर्शियल थ्रस्ट और एंगल के हमेशा सुनिश्चित करेगा ड्यूरिंग द एंटायर डिसेंट देर इज नो ग्राउंड इंटरवेंशन एज द ए एल एस हैज टेकन चार्ज द प्रिपरेशन फॉर टूडेज इवेंट हैज स्टार्टेड नियरली फोर्टी एट आवर्स बिफोर वेर इन वेरियस प्री सेलेक्शन एंड अपलिंकिंग ऑफ पैरामीटर्स we're done we can see that the vertical velocity of the lander module has been brought down it is continuously coming down and the als had already been initiated one hour before the scheduled time of the power descent start following this the throttleable engine electronics module the techm was switched on and lander was oriented to the favorable attitude जी हाँ आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर मॉड्यूल जिसकी शुरुआत में बिलोसिटी 1680 मीटर पर सेकंड थी लगभग लगभग 1150 मीटर पर सेकंड हो चुकी है जो कि एक बहुत ही मैजिस्टिक शुरुआत कही जा सकती है इस रफ ब्रेकिंग फेज के लिए यहाँ पे मैं आपको ये भी बताते चलूं कि आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि द लैंडर मॉड्यूल का आल्टीट्यूड धीरे धीरे अब कम होता हुआ दिख रहा है और जो कि एक्सपेक्टेड भी है अभी हम बात करें करेंट आल्टीट्यूड की तो जो कि 28.6 किलोमीटर के आसपास है आप स्क्रीन पर ये भी देख सकते हैं चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडर इमेजर डिस्प्ले द लैंडर इमेजर इज कंटिन्यूसली गिविंग is continuously taking photographs of the moon surface and that is also being streamed here currently the horizontal velocity has been brought down and the distance traveled is 574 kilometers the current altitude is 27 kilometers as can be seen on the screen ji ha kareeb kareeb अपने आधे सफर को पूरा करते हुए इस रफ ब्रेकिंग फेज में लैंडर बहुत ही आगे की तरफ बढ़ते हुए अपनी ऊंचाई को घटा रहा है अगर अब बात करें तो लैंडर की ऊंचाई चंद्रमा के सतह से लगभग 27 किलोमीटर से नीचे हो चुकी है करीब करीब 26.7 किलोमीटर के आसपास है The next phase after the rough breaking phase is the attitude hold phase, which will be for a duration of nearly 10 seconds the lander will be oriented such that both the altimeters will be looking exactly towards the moon surface at the end of this attitude hold phase height measurement update to navigation system will be given from the laser and car band altimeters currently we are in the middle of the rough breaking phase ji ha agar hum dhyan se dekhe to lagbhag आठ से आठ मिनट की यात्रा के बाद लैंडर अपनी हॉरिजेंटल वेलोसिटी को लगातार कम करते हुए अपनी ऊंचाई अभी की ऊंचाई के समय 24 24 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई प्राप्त कर चुका है अब तक के आंकड़े को देखते हुए हम कह सकते हैं कि लैंडिंग पूरी तरह से नामिनल है यहां पर हम देख सकते हैं कि हॉरिजेंटल वेलोसिटी लगातार कम होती हुई दिख रही है द आल्टीट्यूड ऑफ लैंडर फ्रॉम ग्राउंड इज करेंटली 12 किलोमीटर इज करेंटली 22 किलोमीटर विच इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी कमिंग डाउन एंड दैट एंड दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड for the viewers who have joined now uh, we are in uh, we are in the power descent phase and
and we are in the rough breaking phase which is the first phase of the power descent uh, we have currently traveled a down range of 697 kilometers and uh, the the down range that has to be traveled during this phase is 713.5 kilometers ji ha abhi aap dekh sakte hain लैंडर की हॉरिजेंटल वेलोसिटी लगभग लगभग 720 मीटर प्रति सेकंड हो गई है लगभग लगभग हम ये कह सकते हैं कि 900 मीटर प्रति सेकंड वेलोसिटी को कम किया जा चुका है At the same time, we can see the altitude of the lander is just 17.8 kilometer from the moon surface, which is going to be around 7.4 at the end of the rough breaking phase. Is phase ke baad hum jayenge towards the attitude hold phase where we will be expecting sensor update from the laser and car band altimeters we can see the visualization of the lander module moving towards the moon surface the current altitude is nearly 15.2 kilometers and the distance traveled is 754 kilometers we can also see the image that the lander imager camera has been providing ji ha is rough breaking phase ke dauran arts monitoring ke charo throttle engine the whole phase is being driven by the autonomous landing sequencer and there is no intervention from this ke dauran har sonitor ke charo throttle engine apne kaaye ko puri tarah se anjaam de rahe hain aur lander ke horizontal velocity ko lagatar kam kar rahe hain who has joined us from south africa johannesburg to encourage us ji ha aap ye dekh sakte hain attitude hold phase bhi bahut hi aasani se lander phase ne par kar liya hai aur fine breaking ki shuruaat ho chuki hai अभी हम ये देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर की ऊंचाई लगभग पाँच दशमलव छ किलोमीटर है जो कि इस फेस के उपरांत लगभग लगभग 800 मीटर हो जाएगी वी कैन हियर फ्रॉम द Uh, mission operation team that the sensors are performing nominally and uh, we are currently in the midst of the fine breaking phase which is going to continue for 3 minutes and the altitude is going to be reduced to nearly 800 800 meters at the end of this phase 
जी हाँ जैसा कि आरुषि जी ने बताया कि लगभग तीन मिनट के उपरांत लैंडर की हाइट लगभग 800 मीटर वर्टिकली होगी और यहाँ पे लैंडर की हॉरिजेंटल वेलोसिटी, वर्टिकल वेलोसिटी, इवन डाउन रेंज भी लगभग लगभग सुने होगा we can see the visual of the lander module and we can see that the down range traveled is nearly 831 kilometers जी हाँ आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर की ऊंचाई अब चंद्रमा के सतह से लगभग तीन किलोमीटर से कम हो चुकी है वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू द मून सर्फेस नियरली टू पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर एज वी कैन सी में आ चुके हैं जिसकी शुरुआत भी बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से हो चुकी है लॉट ऑफ अप्लॉज इंडिकेट दैट टिल नाउ द परफॉर्मेंस हैज बीन नॉमिनल वी आर इन द वर्टिकल डिसेंट फेज वन the altitude is being brought down from 800 meters and we are nearing and approaching the lunar surface ji aap apne screen ab hum ye dekh sakte hain ki hum lagbhag lagbhag 150 meter ki unchai pe hain चंद्रमा के सतह से वी आर अप्रोचिंग द वर्टिकल डिसेंट फेज टू विच विल हैव द लैंडर मॉड्यूल होवरिंग एट नियरली वन फिफ्टी मीटर्स अबाउट द लोना सर्फिस जी हाँ आप इस तालियों के गड़गड़ाहट को सुन सकते हैं जो कि सेकेंड हाइवरी फेज के कंप्लीट होने के बाद इन सारे वैज्ञानिकों के द्वारा की जा रही है targeting is going on and this is a very good signature for the lander 
अभी आप ये देख सकते हैं कि लैंडर की ऊंचाई लगभग पैंसठ मीटर के आसपास बची हुई है Currently, only two engines are now being fired, and uh, we are nearly at zero velocity, vertical and horizontal. We are we were hovering, and now we are approaching the moon surface. Slowly, slowly, lander ki weight ban ko kam kiya ja raha hai, aur hum ab lagbhag 50 meter se bhi. कम आ चुके हैं वी कैन सी द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी हु इज हियर टू एनकरेज अस एंड ही इज क्रिटिकली लुकिंग एट द विजन परिवारजनों जब हम अपनी आंखों के सामने ऐसा इतिहास बनते हुए देखते हैं तो जीवन धन्य हो जाता है ऐसी ऐतिहासिक घटनाएं राष्ट्र जीवन की चिरंजीव चेतना बन जाती है ये पल अविस्मरणीय है ये क्षण अभूतपूर्व है ये क्षण विकसित भारत के संखनाथ का है ये क्षण नए भारत के जयघोष का है ये क्षण मुश्किलों के महासागर को पार करने का है ये क्षण जीत के चंद्र पथ पर चलने का है ये क्षण एक सौ अमृत काल की
नया वासियों के साथ अपने परिवारजनों के साथ इस उमंग और उल्लास से जुड़ा हुआ हूं मैं टीम चंद्रयान को इसरो को और देश के सभी वैज्ञानिकों को जी जॉन से बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं जिन्होंने इस पल के लिए वर्षों तक इतना परिश्रम किया है उत्साह उमंग आनंद और भावुकता से भरे इस अद्भुत पल के लिए मैं 140 करोड़ देशवासियों को भी कोटि कोटि बधाइयां देता हूं मेरे परिवारजनों हमारे वैज्ञानिकों के परिश्रम और प्रतिभा से भारत चंद्रमा के उस दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर पहुंचा है जहां आज तक दुनिया का कोई भी देश नहीं पहुंच सका अब आज के बाद से चांद से जुड़े मिथक बदल जाएंगे कथा नगमी बदल जाएंगे और नई पीढ़ी के लिए कहावतें भी बदल जाएगी भारत में तो हम हम सभी लोग धरती को मां कहते हैं और चांद को मामा बुलाते हैं कभी कहा जाता था चंदा मामा बहुत दूर के हैं चंदा मामा बहुत दूर के हैं अब एक दिन वो भी आएगा जब बच्चे कहा करेंगे चंदा मामा बस एक दूर के हैं friends on this joyous occasion i would like to address all the people of the world the people of every country and region india's successful moon mission is not just india's alone This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. this human centric approach that we present and that we represent has been welcome universally our moon mission is also based on the same human centric approach therefore this success
हम हमारे सौर मंडल की सीमा और द मून एंड बियॉन्ड मेरे परिवार मान की अनेक संभावनाओं को साकार करने के लिए भी जरूर काम करेंगे हमने भविष्य के लिए कई बड़े और महत्वाकांक्षी लक्ष्य तय किए जल्द ही सूर्य के विस्तृत अध्ययन के लिए इसरो आदित्य एल वन मिशन लॉन्च करने जा रहा है इसके बाद शुक्र भी इसरो के लक्ष्यों में से एक है गगनयान के जरिए देश अपने पहले ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट मिशन के लिए भी देश हमेशा हमेशा के लिए याद रखेगा यह दिन हम सभी को एक उज्जवल भविष्य की ओर बढ़ने के लिए प्रेरित करेगा ये दिन हमें मिशन के लिए भी पूरी तैयारी के साथ जुड़ा है इन इस बात का प्रतीक है कि हार से सबक लेकर जीत कैसे हासिल की जाती है एक बार फिर देश के सभी वैज्ञानिकों को बहुत बहुत बधाई और भविष्य के मिशन के लिए ढेरों शुभकामनाएं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद achieving this goal as a project director of this mission uh, the entire mission uh, the entire mission operations right from launch till landing happened flawlessly as per the timeline and we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing on the moon surface and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon Review committee for thoroughly reviewing the mission operations right from 
launched till this day the target was on spot because of the review process i also thank the isro ir management right from chairman isro direct review rsc and all the center directors and ir isro officials and my finally my thanks to the chandrayaan 3 project executives spread spread across the isro centers thank you colleagues and my team members things in a carrying out in proper way thank you very much associate project director kalpana good evening to all this will remain the most memorable and the happiest moment for all of us for our team chandrayaan 3 we have achieved we have achieved our goal flawlessly from the day we started rebuilding our spacecraft after chandrayaan 2 experience it has been breathe in breathe out chandrayaan 3 for our team and uh, starting from the reconfiguration to all the special tests and the simulations we have conducted meticulously and this has been possible only because of our immense effort from our chandrayaan 3 team and of course with the with the guidance with the guidance from our chairman isro our directors and all our experts with all this it has been possible thank you one and all thank you for all the minutest help which has been provided from all the areas of uh, departments thank you thank you chandrayaan 3 is the result of the work done by thousands of scientists engineers our staff and industries and support team across isro and other places other institutions and shankaran has been the lead of the center which you know integrated all of these efforts in the last so many years so i request him to speak on behalf of all of you thank you very much for the affection that has been displayed today now today uh, we have achieved what we set out to achieve in 2019 it was delayed by about 4 years but we have done it when uh, chandrayaan 3 was launched after the separation of the spacecraft from launch vehicle i said i will speak the rest of the things after the soft landing so he will, here i will take couple of minutes to tell the tremendous amount of effort that has been put in by the entire project team when i say project team it is not just only Uh, the project director and uh, associate project director of course they are the face of the project they have been living sleeping eating breathing chandrayaan for the last 4 years they have been supported by such a large number of people particularly in the uh, navigation guidance and control area propulsion system this area the amount of effort that has been put by people the number of simulations that have been done the number of reviews they have gone through the amount of criticism they faced and uh, overcome that it is uh, i as a person who has been watching this uh, for the last 4 uh, years along with them my heart feels my heart goes out for them 
the amount of effort is tremendous that is what isro is all about that is what our organization has taught us to do now today this success has put us even more higher responsibility as the honorable prime minister was telling because we have set the bar now so high nothing nothing less than nothing less spectacular than this is going to be inspiring for any any of us in the future so as the honorable prime minister mentioned we will we will be now looking at putting the man in space putting a spacecraft around venus and landing a craft in mars work on all these activities are going on for few years and this success today will inspire us and will spur us to take those efforts even more strongly so that we will make our country proud again and again and again thank you very much for every one of you who have directly or indirectly participated in this mission encouraged us intentionally or unintentionally helped us in in all 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 for every one of every one of you a big thank you because even it is not that exit so thank you very much for uh, everyone for your love and affection we will continue to do our best and make our flag fly isros as well as india's flag fly high thank you very much honorable honorable prime minister has called me and conveyed his greetings to each one of you you and your family for the wonderful work you did in isro uh, so thank uh, thanks are to him for the support that he is giving to us for missions like chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing i think that's a great word of you uh, know comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation i want to tell you and i want to thank you also for each and every one who prayed with us in the last many days uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in isro i thank all those people in all around the country and maybe beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years i want to specifically thank uh, some senior people who have been standing with us especially the name of kiran kumar sir <laughs> and mr kamala kar Rao. they have been helping so much they were part of building chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 should be remembered and thanked while we celebrate chandrayaan 3 and this is an incremental progress and definitely a great huge one it is and thank you so much for all the support and work that you have done
Indian citizens and make us do better and better and work harder and harder. And I'm just trying to add that the kind of confidence it is building in our young generation. The other day I was talking to a young boy and the way he knew so much about uh, the stars and uh, whatever is is doing and NASA is doing and I just asked him, uh, when you grow up, would you like to grow, go to NASA? And his answer was, why? He'll make his show better than NASA. Uh, India has joined a very elite club of just three other countries and that's something ex to be extremely proud of. Every single person who has contributed to this over the years, perhaps over the decades. And we've created a record to land in the hitherto unattempted South Pole of the moon. You know, we keep we have said that we are Vishwa Gurus and today I think this has been a demonstration of actually being a Vishwa Guru, uh, indigenously developed program uh, with a huge team. I mean, such programs don't happen with just one director and a small team. It's uh, hundreds of scientists as we could see, we were watching live, uh, the ISRO scientists. Uh, so it, it is to watch uh, something that is landing light years away with such precision at the time that they said it would be landing. Uh, I think. to take up research. Three cheers and a zillion thanks to our scientists. And I would like to say, um, look back at the Navi, you know, Muttusami Dikshitar, since we are sitting in Tamil Nadu and Muttusami Dikshitar is a very renowned Carnatic musician of uh, the 17th century. He sang Chandram Bhaja Manasa Sadhu Hridaya Sadrusham which means whole mind, worship the moon, who is like the heart of the noble ones. And today, the noble ones are the men and women behind the mission. And we at the Indian Maritime University offer a pronounce to the men and the women behind the Chandrayaan mission. And before I sign off, I'm wondering whether, you know, ISRO was started as an international, uh, Indian space research organization whether we should be looking as a, at a seabed research organization so that we can take this forward to the maritime sector. Thank you very much and uh, for, for allowing me to share my thoughts. Once again, kudos to the scientists uh, of the country and every single associate who was part of this program. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for those... Uh uh, wonderful uh, uh, thoughts. Uh, now, before we move forward, I would uh, request our respected secretary for his uh, uh, remarks on this occasion, and then we will take the program further. I share with everyone their joy and enthusiasm at the remarkable achievement of the uh, ISRO team. And my congratulations to the leader of the team and to all other members. It's a remarkable achievement, not just in terms of the technological leap that we have taken, but also because it has engendered so much of positivity in the country. It has given us all so much of confidence in the abilities of our own people, our own scientists. And then finally, it tells us that patient space, 
so though and uh, though we did not achieve success four years back today we have succeeded just by trying again and being confident so i think it has a lot of lessons for all of us i'm not touching on the scientific aspects because that has been so well commented upon by all the other speakers before me and i am new campus uh, so we would uh, request the students if they have any you know thoughts to share or any questions to ask either from the honorable minister or from any of the uh, senior uh, you know people from the scientific community so we would uh, welcome you to either you know share your thoughts or ask any questions if you may have questions yeah. <laughs> go girls yeah 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 we can comment also one or two questions comments remarks i think there is a hand raised from vishakhapatnam campus i am you vishakhapatnam you may unmute and speak please uh, just introduce yourself and then please speak ramachandran uh, sir are you here yes sir Yes, sir. We can hear, sir. So better you ask the student community about their reaction. How do they react to this outstanding achievement of Indian space resource? Yes, sir. We have the uh, hand raised from the uh, IMU students in Vizag. I request them to speak. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah. What are your reactions? What are your feelings? What are your thoughts at this moment? After this stunning success. Can I share my information if I am heard? Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. 
Good evening, everybody. So this is a very overwhelming moment. Let me take a minute to appreciate it. I still remember a fine day in September 2019 when I was a kid and I was sitting in my secondary school, watching with most enthusiastic state of mind the landing of Chandrayaan 2. And suddenly everything went off, the communication got disconnected. I waited almost an hour for an official statement to come. I hope we will retrieve our Chandrayaan 2 landing capsule, but it never happened. And today, looking at India, I can imagine or compare it to that, that famous spider in the fable who inspired the King Alexander to go again and win a war. He looked at that spider standing with her tank well, getting ready to woo it again. And it is worthy of mention that our economic budget was much meager to say, I know it's wrong, but it was so less, lesser than the budget of uh, budget of Interstellar or the Bollywood movie of Adi Purush. We have done it very well, and our landing position it it requires a lot of effort to land in South Pole with a very harsh terrain and such uh, harsh conditions of negative 230 degrees Celsius. And we, instead of landing the space position of equator, we, we have enough of, enough of light and uh, soft terrains, we chose South Pole to study more, to enlarge our research. And as, uh, as honorable guest here said, we are even intending for colonization in the future. I'm so very happy, so very proud, and on the behalf of IMU Shagapatnam, I acknowledge uh, the sense of happiness and, uh, in fact, speechlessness on this in this moment. And we also would love to extend uh, this word quest for the search. Uh, as often space into deep sea as this uh, honorable uh, vice chancellor suggested. We know we are getting ready with Samudrayan by 2026. Uh, but, and we can't rush. We also consider that we can't rush. Just two months recently, we got this uh, tragic uh, alert that we can't rush, especially when um, we, if, with respect to Samudrayan, it's a manned mission. We can't risk. We'll take our time. We'll take our budget. We'll research. We'll make sure it's all safe, and we'll go for deep sea research. So once uh, once again, I acknowledge my I acknowledge this dark moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so moving on, I think there's another hand raised from uh, IMU MPC campus. If you would like to unmute and uh, speak, please just to introduce and uh, you can uh, share your thoughts. These things, where is it? My name is Anyabhar. Uh, moving on, I think there's another hand raised from uh, IMU MPC campus. If you would like to unmute and uh, speak, please just introduce and uh, you can uh, share your thoughts. Campus, please. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, others may keep their mics on mute. Uh, so, I am you, MPC may unmute and speak, please. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, please go on. Good evening, yeah. Good evening sir. Uh, I'm, I'm Cadet Antana Bahudi from IM Mumbai Port Campus. Uh, uh, I want to express my feelings uh, about this uh, success of Shandriyan Shri. Uh, it's a very, very uh, I can uh, express in exact words how I'm feeling right now because in that uh, in that four years uh, time span uh, because uh, we have seen that uh, the crash of uh, Chandrayaan to uh, 2019 and in the uh, in the pandemic uh, year of pandemic uh, year uh, they uh, they made it uh, successful and uh, the Chandrayaan three ready to launch for this uh, uh, for this and uh, we get uh, we use a very much high technologies and uh, so all those things uh, so that uh, and now uh, the we are the first uh, we are the first country to land softly on moon uh, on moon south pole uh, and uh, so it's a very uh, nationally and in from youth perspective also it's a very uh, it, it outstanding uh, uh, feelings and uh, uh, I guess, uh, and thank you sir. Uh, thank you thanks a lot thank you for sharing your uh, feelings and thoughts uh, so with this uh, we will now uh, request our uh, honorable minister for port shipping and waterways uh, for his uh, address during the, on this moment the segregation sir particularly the renowned technocrats and expert Gobin from the different renowned institution of India and the secretary Port Shipping Waterways on all others, officials, presence across the countries, and my dear friends from Indian Maritime University, Chennai, and also Kane College and others, and my colleague people's representative presence at Dibrugar Deputy Commissioner Office along with DC and SP all others officers. Today is a great day for India. This is a proud moment for every Indian citizen because Sandrayaan 3 has safely, softly landed. So in the solar south pole and I believe this particular soft landing at lunar south pool have created a history because india becomes the first nation to have soft landing in lunar south pool and according to the expert view the presence of water and others particularly the ice element will definitely create a lot of spaces in the future more better exploration and from indian national space policy which has set the framework for a space capability for india and i believe since 2014 Whatever inspiration, whatever initiative is being distinctively 
taken on the part of government of India under the dynamic leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. The scientific community in the country have worked day and night to make this particular mission, Mission Moon, a grand success. I believe today is the day. We are to rejoice. We are to celebrate every nook and corner of the country. And I am really, being an Indian, I feel so proud. And our visionary leader, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, has always been telling us that everything can be done if there is dedication, devotion, commitment, honesty, and hard work, and with better skill, innovation. And I believe all this quality being incorporated into this journey. And we are very much happy to learn from the senior scientists that this journey become cost effective journey. This is also one of the significant aspect of this particular journey. I believe in the near future, our young generation will be highly motivated. And for the space exploration, India is definitely going to take the leadership across the globe. No doubt about it. And with this, I again extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the scientific team who have made this particular mission a grand success. And because of their hard work and dedication, we all Indian feel proud. And I especially extend my congratulations to our dynamic leader, most popular leader of the world, Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, because of his vision, because of his guidelines, because of his kind of all kind of support and encouragement this kind of exceptional success story being written with a golden letter thank you thank you sir for those uh, inspiring words uh, it definitely like inspires this uh, you know achievement of our country inspires all of us to dream bigger and achieve and aim for bigger things so would like to thank our honorable minister for uh, his uh, idea that we should all get together and celebrate this occasion and uh, also taking time out to be with us and uh, on this momentous occasion I would also like to thank uh, 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 gathering so would like to thank uh, different uh, organizations of the ministry and the other academic institutions and also would like to thank our respected secretary for being with us on the like to uh, conclude uh, today's uh, uh, gathering so would like to thank uh, everyone thank you